So, for example, at Juicer, we've curated content um, around topic areas like management and leadership, and we've been very careful to select a number of titles on topics rather than just relying on one title that might be the most popular. And I understand that's quite good for learning, and the term that I hear a lot is neuroplasticity, which is quite hard to say, but probably even harder to understand. Can you just demystify that a bit for us? Okay. I'll explain what it is, and then we'll try and sure. work out an analogy that might make it easier to conceptualise. Um, so neuroplasticity essentially is the, the brain's ability to rewire itself, to connect up connect, uh, new neurons that, is being, that, that are being used more often and disconnect ones and dismantle that resource, the ones that aren't being used. So the, the process is long-term potentiation is joining together and long-term depression, nothing to do with being sad or blue, is dismantling um, pathways that aren't being used so much. Um, so that's how it, how it rewires. But the way I kind of conceptualise neuroplasticity is, if you think of riverbeds, for, let's use that, um, a riverbed will control the flow of water, just like neurons will control the flow of thoughts. But we also know with a riverbed that over time, the way the water flows will affect the riverbed, just like if you think in a certain way, will affect the way neurons are connected up or dismantled, so much so that you will connect up new tributaries or connections or dismantle old ones that are less used. Um, so that's probably a, a good explanation of what neuroplasticity is. How it was used um, within the world of Juicer, um, I think that idea of, of having a range of things really helps people to continually revisit a topic but in a very interesting novel uh, way as opposed to I'm not likely to keep reading the same book over and over again. I might once, twice, maybe three times. But if I have a range of books, but all in a very similar area, it starts to build a much richer picture um, in my mind so that I can uh, understand how I might apply things, think differently maybe. Um, but I think there's something about the novelty um, factor that's probably quite useful. Available on iPhone and iPad. Download the app today.